Hello there. Uh, this is the amateur radio corner of my workroom, but um, this video is not about amateur radio, it's about something uh, that came before radio. Yes, uh, it's all to do with this, this box, this wooden curved box you see here. It's got a base and a wire coming out of it and a, a connecting block. And if we turn it round and have a look in it, you'll see... Uh, yes, you'll see the box is curved on the side like that. And if we um, zoom in here, you'll see that what we have um, is... Well, it's a relay. Um, these are coils through which electricity from this connector passes and it attracts this armature here. So, uh, what is the purpose of it? When Morse code was first devised by Samuel Morse in 1838, I should know, I've forgotten, um, he didn't think that people would just listen to uh, dots and dashes and write it down. He thought that was probably not possible uh, or indeed even inconceivable. Um, it was sent by a fairly complicated automatic method which we won't go into at the moment. Uh, but when people heard the tickings of the relay which uh, recorded the incoming Morse message, uh, eventually they, they could read it in their heads uh, which was a great thing. And so pretty soon uh, Morse code was sent by telegraph by wire um, to sounders just such as this. Well here's a little setup uh, so that we can demonstrate this to you. Uh, here we have a power supply from an old computer um, and it goes via this which is a uh, memory key. it's very old but it does have a little memory for doing Morse code and I shall connect the um, wires to this uh, the input of this relay like so, and then uh, trigger off the Kia, which is what sends out a call, you know, a general call, and uh, you will hear, especially if I switch on the power supply, So, the sound that came uh, from this early line telegraphy of Morse code was nothing like what we got used to with radio, with, you know, di 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 da dit and um, da di da dit and di di da 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 di di dit and stuff like that. It was a series of double clicks and it sounds completely different. I mean, I'm baffled by it, uh, but it was read and used as an efficient, uh, very efficient form of communication. Uh, from the sort of the 1840s uh, for, for a century.